Welcome to Morai FC. It is water. Just look how this beautiful Sinatan tap. It's very, very simple, easy. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to digest it. You know, break it down for you to understand how to cut the way you're going to, the way that you are not going to waste no fabric. You're going to maintain fabric and manage fabric. This is the easier way and simplest way. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you the full details of everything. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on the notification bell. Because I post videos every Sunday and sometimes on Monday. If I couldn't be able to post it on Sunday, and make sure you watch the video till the end because everything you need to know, everything about this tutorial. So just look at how it is very very simple easy like i said i'm going to break it down the tips the tricks that you need in achieving this in at the top and the easiest and the simplest form that i'm going to give it to you guys so please stay tuned and watch till the end of the video without wasting much time let's get started you need a bust measurement i'm working with 40 and i'm going to start with the right side of the front center on top so 40 divided by 4 i'm going to get 10 then i'm going to add one and a half inches to it that's my sewing allowance then after that i'm gonna add five inches or four and a half inches extra extra fabric to it so in i'm gonna go in by one inch over there as well it's like a t-shirt you know a t-shirt we have the bottom side so i'm gonna leave one one inch for that part so when i cross check my bars divided by four 10 i'm gonna add my sewing allowance to it one and a half then i'm gonna have one inch at that part this is the right side of the front center and top and this is the left side and this one is the left side we're gonna follow the same procedure your balls divided by four and you add your sewing allowance one and a half then we're gonna add the 13 inches 13 inches extra fabric 13 inches can make it 12 inches 13 inches or 12 inches extra fabric to it so that we're gonna come in like three and a half or four quarter to four you know then we made a folding like this so after that you have to let's check your bars plus your sewing allowances one and a half plus your extra three and a half or quarter to four inches extra in front when we fold that part so we're going to put it on each other and see how it goes this is the the right side and this is the left side so i'm going to put it on each other like that you make sure you check the direction of it is also very important so i'm going to do that one and a half year the sewing allowance remember and also this part one and a half year sewing allowance if you are so i'm going to check in between i'm supposed to get 20 that is a half of my bus i'm supposed to get 20 in between This is the back down, this is the back of the fabric and also you know this is the back of the fabric is always longer than the front like four or four and a half or five inches we're gonna put the same procedure your bars like I said I'm working with the 40 so 10 plus one and a half so we allow one to it that's the back and it's one and a half uh, four and a half or five inches long than the front so we're gonna put it on this like that this is a, the left side and this is the right side. Just look the way I'm putting it, uh, just look the way I'm arranging it. You know, they are facing each other. The right side of the front they are facing each other. And this is the back because I'm going to cut the slope, the shoulders. So I mark my two and a half. You can see how I've arranged it. Then I'm marking my two inches over here. Then I cut my sloping.
Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. It is what it is. So I'm gonna put the bag aside, and I'm going to rearrange it as well and see. Just like that. After that, I have to cross check again and see if I have the same 20 inches in the between. Then I'm gonna pin it down. Don't open the folding. You know, remember the left side we fold and the right side also we fold. So don't open it, just leave it the way it is and just pin it down. And after that, you fold it too, just like this. So we put the font on top of the back. We arrange everything perfectly. So when you achieve this, it becomes easier for you, you know, the fabric has been folding too and this, it becomes easy for you this part, but you still need some tricks and tricks that you need when doing this part as well. So your back divided by two, the shoulder divided by two, and you had half into so your allowance to it, and your shoulder, you divided by two or so, whatever you get, that's what you're going to use for your hammer hole half of it or you measure your half or your arm hole if your arm hole is 20 then you use 10 if your arm hole is 15 then you use seven and a half it is what it is so we are going in by and a half inch we are working on the front fabric we go in by half inch of the front fabric Folding, remember we open the folding. This is how you can see. Then we just have to cut a little bit from the front. Just like that. Talking about the neck, I have a full tutorial on how to cut a perfect neck to any size. A perfect neck, how to any size, how to calculate it from 12, 15, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to any size. I have a link in the description box below. Please do all and check it out how to cut a perfect neck any size of a Sinatan I have explained it in detail, so I have to go in. If you can still, I'm working at the back, I'm taking a measurement. I always take the measurement from the back first, the neck. So whatever I will get, that will determine what, how much I'm gonna cut the front. Then I have to calculate that one as well and get my back, my my neck. You know, it is what it is. The neck has been cut perfectly. So now we have to put the back aside and we're gonna deal with the front. That is all where the works lies and we have to arrange it as well as well. Remember at the fabric we have one and a half one inch in front, so just have to let them put it on it like this. Make sure this part touches this part as well. Can see, let them kiss each other. It is over there, as you can see. So you're gonna draw with a straight line, just like that. Then you.
mark you have to make a notch at that point that notch is very very important that is our point and we're gonna cut this one that is the right side and we have to make a notch at that point as well so I'm measuring 13 inches from the next side from that part to this part 13 inches or you can measure 14 inches so I'm gonna flip it over like that I'm still gonna measure the 13 make sure that I have my 13 inches so that is this is the wrong side of it this is the wrong side I'm gonna hold it like this then I'll go to the sewing machine I'll start from my 13 inches to the down I'll make a curve to that bottom so let me go and do that and come back so you can see I've made a when you look at the center top there's a curve in front of that center top in front there's a curve so that's a curve that we are doing in front of there please don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment and click on notification bell raise what it is I post videos every Sundays and sometimes on Monday if I could able to post it on Sunday. So I'm gonna take an eye on. You make sure you add your fuse or stiff uh, at the front side of the senator. You are dealing with the left side. So you fold it this part. You pull it then you iron it. When you look at the center top, there's a curve in front of that center top in front. There's a curve, so that's the curve that we are doing in front of there. We still have to go to the sewing machine. We're gonna put this one to this side. Then we're gonna sew on top like that. To the line let's assume that is the lining so we're gonna show on top on there like that so that it gives us a sharp and curvy you know beautiful sharp and curvy very simple you get that you understand it so when we get to the sewing machine I have one inch in front so I'm gonna mark my one inch then I make a notch at that point that notch is very very important take important note to the notches that I make so I'm gonna let the notches face each other just like that so let's go to the sewing machine like I said when you open the left side we open it this is the wrong side so we're gonna top stitch this part So when you close it, you can see that I'm gonna shape it inside and everything gonna look smooth. Let's take a look. You can see it become very smooth in front of that part. So I'm gonna join the left side, sorry, the right side. I'm gonna join the shoulders to shoulders together. I'm going to join the shoulders together this is the right side so I'm going to hold it like this you can see the right side and right side of the back and the front are facing each other so I'm going to hold the front and the yoke together and left the fabric then I'm going to twist it like this I'm joining the shoulders so if you know how to join the shoulder very very simple and easy Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, click on the notification bell. If you don't understand something, you can ask questions and you can watch several of it to get the best idea of what I'm doing. 
so you can see I've joined the shoulder it's left with the other one the left side this is the left side remember the notch that we made you can see this is the notch so we're gonna work on we're gonna open it like this we turn it over so this is the wrong side of the fabric this is the wrong side of the fabric so we're gonna sew at that part to the notch exactly at the notch that we made and you come top like this make a double stitch we're gonna trim some part off that is then you make a notch to the angle don't cut it through so after that you make notch you cut this part off and flip everything over you can see perfectly beautiful nice it is what it is don't forget to subscribe like and share comment and click on the notification bell so we're gonna join the shoulder the left side we're gonna join the shoulder the left side The same thing as we did then just hold it like that then just flip it Just like that we have joined the shoulders together we're still gonna work on the right side remember we left one inch in front of the right side the one inch we have to work at that part as well you can see we have a notch one inch in front of the center top so this is the right side so we're gonna flip it the same way we did the left side we're gonna flip it then we're gonna sew to the one inch that we made After that, then you flip it over. I have a tutorial on how to make your Chinese neck wall is plain, nothing is hidden, and nothing is hiding. Uh, very, very simple and easy. Wall is plain, so please do what and check out the description box below and check out and learn how to make a Chinese neck as well as plain, how to cut it, the pattern, and how to uh, sew it. You know all the tip has been given to you it is what it is Yeah. 
trying to check out what we have done so far. So after joining the shoulders, joining everything, you have to make sure and come and check that and check everything. If you are doing the right path, you're on the right path, then you, you continue doing it. If there's something that you need to change, there's a settings or something that you need to fix, then just come and fix. You can see these points have to meet each other like that. That is the neck. That's the place supposed to end. Very, very simple and easy. Now then you want to make your Chinese neck, you measure. You have to join the shoulders first when um, measuring a Chinese neck. You have to join the shoulders first and you measure whatever is left. It's going to depend how long what you want your Chinese neck to reach. We have the one that goes across each other and you have to put the buttons on it. The one that opens, the one that stays closer. You know, it depends how style that you want it. So this is the Chinese neck. Like I said, I have a description box below how to make a perfect Chinese neck and how to cut it to make a pattern, how to sew it on your fabric. I'm going to go through brick here a little bit on how to sew it. But I, uh, I'll be glad if you click on the link below in the description box below and how to make your Chinese neck and learn how to do it and how to fix it, erase or erase. When you face your Chinese neck, you need to fix one side after that. You join one side after that, then you just go and continue from the other side. You know, it helps it make the work easier for you. Sometimes, you know, we are using our hand to measure. So sometimes your color can be a little bit shorter than the neck itself. So when you do it like this, it can suit everything perfectly. And there's no need to go back and do another Chinese neck thinking that is 1.2 shorter or even half shorter than neck itself the Chinese neck or the Chinese neck is half shorter than the neck itself so when you do it like this it help you to you know break through all this kind of small error at that point that's why it's recommended that you have to join one side before continue from the other side then you flip everything in like that you started from the wrong side of the fabric, then you flip everything in, then you top stitch. For the top stitch, you have to go around the Chinese neck. Just go around it all. can see everything is done perfectly and beautifully it is what it is so just look how it has been fixed very, very simple and beautiful So you can see this is how it's supposed to do, this is how it's supposed to be, you know, beautiful Chinese neck. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, comment and click on notification bell. We aren't done yet, we have not finished yet, we're still on it. And uh, I'm gonna hold the armhole like that, then I make a notches at the center. And also join the armhole like this and make a notch at the center to join the sleeve you know it's easy but before that we have this one it's easy to do i know you can do all this kind of stuff then you just top stitch it you just have to you know sketch and cut your fabric and face right side right side together after that you turn it over then you top stitch, you iron it, then you top stitch and you achieve this simple thing. Very, very simple.
You do the same thing to the other side. Then you join the sleeve to the shoulder. So let me do that. So you can see after joining the sleeve, you can see this is the outcome. You know, we are not done yet. We are not done yet. If you look, if you look at the design, just look the way I put the design. There's a curve in front of there, so you just have to trim that part. Just like going by one inch, then you just make that curve. And also, when you look at the bottom of the design, there's a blackish design there. You have to measure ten inches. My client don't want that kind of stuff, so I'm just trying to explain everything for you. You have 10 inches. Let's assume you measure 10 inches for that. And you measure the bottom of it. And after that, you just fold it like this. I'm not teaching how to put the black there. The way you can go with it. My client don't want the black because you want the top to match with, with the down. You know, this one, the dress, you know, it matches with the black trouser. So this one is, is all plain out, cream color. So you measure the back and the front. You measure everything, then you cut the black fabric or any kind of fabric that you wanna put at the bottom. Then you just have to cut like 10 inches by the length that you're gonna get. You fold it like this. You put a stiff or facing at the tip of it just small one then you come inside the wrong side of it just like that then you put it at the tip like that then you sew then after so you flip it to the right side then you top stitch hope you understood what i mean just look over again and you you understand it is what it is like I said, my client don't want that black wish, black black design. So this is how the outcome will be after we have done everything. The bottom, the distance of your bottom is supposed to be uh, one quarter, one quarter distance. One quarter, one quarter. The distance of the bottom is supposed to be one quarter distance. I hope you understood. You understand what I mean? You can see, you know, the small sewing that we did at the front. You can see the front is very curvy and smooth and nice and beautiful when you open you have to get a pressing button then you you join your pressing buttons over there to hold the bottom down and when you come to the angle side you have to put one pressing buttons over there to hold that part also down thank you